suite is a set of tools from Google that allows you to do everything you need to do to do your best work together in one package that works seamlessly from your computer, phone, or tablet. B suite for education tools are powerful on their own, but work even better together. You can work online or offline anytime and on any device. G Suite core services do not contain advertising and information is not used for advertising purposes. So what are the apps that you might find in G Suite? Well, Google Docs is good for word processing, a bit like Word. Google Sheets is good for making spreadsheets, a bit like Excel. Google Slides is a bit like PowerPoint and you can make presentations. Google Forms is good for making quizzes or surveys. Google Drive stores all of your files and Google Classroom is great for handing in and completing some of your classwork or homework. So why do we use G Suite within school? Well, there's lots of positive reasons for using G Suite. Firstly, you can access your work anywhere you go. You can work easily with other people. You've got unlimited space to store all of your files. It's easy to share and reuse anything that you're making. Everything you do on G Suite is backed up automatically. It's got really powerful tools integrated within it, like Google Search and YouTube, and it links really easily with Google Classroom. All the G Suite apps work on a range of different devices. You can either use your laptop or a Chromebook or even a smartphone. If you're using a laptop, it's usually best to use Chrome, the browser, which looks a little bit like this icon on the laptop. If you're using a Chromebook, all the apps are already built in because it's built to work with G Suite. And if you're using your smartphone, you can go onto the App Store or the Google Play Store and you can download individual apps for the different Google applications such as Drive, Classroom, Gmail and Calendar. When working on a computer, it's best to use the Chrome browser. The icon is in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. When you go onto Chrome, if you go to Google and just go to the Google home page, in the top right hand corner, there'll be a blue sign in button. If you click the blue sign in button, you can then log in with your school email address. Your school email address is made up of your school username, followed by at students.priori.hearts.sch.uk. Your school username is made up of the year you joined the school, your first initial and your full surname. For example, this is Bob Smith and he joined in 2020. Your password is the same password you use to log into the computers at school. Once you're logged in, instead of showing a blue icon in the top right hand corner, it will now show nine squares that look something a bit like this. This is called the App Launcher. If you click on the App Launcher, it will open up all of the different apps that you can access using G Suite. Google Drive is used for your file storage. Google Sheets is used for making spreadsheets, a bit like Excel. Google Meet is great for meeting with people online, virtually, using your webcam or microphone. Google Calendar allows you to create meetings or keep track of what you're doing during the day. Google Sites allows you to build simple websites. Google Slides allows you to make presentations, a bit like PowerPoint. Google Classroom is where you can access your schoolwork and your homework. Gmail is your school email account. And Google Docs is a bit like Word, it's there to make documents. To sign into your G Suite account, click the blue sign in button in the top right hand corner of Google. Once you click the sign in button, you can type in your email address. Our email address is start with the number that you join the school, followed by your first initial and then your surname. This is a test account, so it's test student, but it'll be your first initial, so B Smith for Bob Smith. Then follow it with at students.priory.hearts.sch.uk and then click next. The password is the password that you use in school to log into the school accounts. Uh, if you want to check to see what it looks like, you can press the eye icon over on the right hand side and it will show you your password while you're typing it in and click next. Once you're logged in, it will show you're logged in in the top right hand corner of Google by showing a little icon and the fact that you're signed in using this email address. Next to this icon showing that you're signed in, there is the app launcher and the Google Apps. If you click on the app launcher, it will show you all the different apps that you have access to using your Google account, including things like Google Drive and Google Classroom. This is a really quick and easy way to access these apps that we'll look at in future videos.